The sense of smell is intimately linked to the regions of the brain that are responsible for memory and emotion, such as the amygdala and the hippocampus. This link could explain why certain smells can elicit memories and emotions that can be then incorporated into your dreams. Both the amygdala and the hippocampus are found in the brain. The amygdala is a small almond-shaped structure in the temporal lobe near the base of the brain. And the hippocampus is located just below the amygdala in the medial temporal lobe. The amygdala is involved in emotion processing and memory formation, whereas the hippocampus is involved in the consolidation of new memories and the retrieval of stored memories. Because of the amygdala's close relationship with the hippocampus, certain smells may trigger memories and emotions that can then be incorporated in our dreams. According to research, certain smells are more likely to be incorporated into dreams because they're more strongly linked to those emotions and memories that we have. Like the smell of freshly baked bread, for example, it might be more likely to be incorporated into a dream because it's closely associated with the feelings of comfort and home. The incorporation of smells into dreams could help the brain process and make sense of various experiences emotions, and memories. For instance, if a person has an emotionally charged experience involving a specific smell, that smell is then incorporated in the dream as a way for the brain to process and make sense of the experience. Some studies have suggested that incorporating smells in dreams may help the brain consolidate and strengthen memories. If you smell something while learning something new, that smell may be forever linked in your dreams as a way for your brain to process and reinforce this new information. A person's cultural or personal experiences may also influence the incorporation of smells and dreams. And a person who grew up in a household where a certain type of food was frequently cooked may be more likely to smell that food in their dreams. There's some people that have vivid and realistic dreams involving smells that they've never experienced in real life. And these phantom smells could be the result of brain synthesizing and combining various smells that the person has encountered throughout their life. Smells in dreams may be more common in people who are more sensitive. In some cases, people may have dreams about smells that they're unfamiliar with. Strange odors could be the result of the brain combining and synthesizing everything. And this all comes together as what that person has encountered throughout their entire life. And in rare cases, people may experience olfactory hallucinations. And that's where they perceive smells that are not present in their surroundings. These olfactory hallucinations can occur in the dream state at times. Through a technique known as olfactory dream incubation, you can intentionally incorporate specific smells into your dreams. And to accomplish this, it's, it sounds wacky, but work with me here. To accomplish this, try smelling a specific scent before going to bed, and then concentrating on incorporating that smell into your dream. It might be vivid, and it might be quite memorable. And that could be because the sense of smell is so closely linked to those emotional centers, and it elicits strong memories and emotions. While the relationship between smell and dreams is not fully understood, other factors like a person's personal experience and memories, do play a critical role in the incorporation of smells in dreams. There's a lot more research that's needed to fully understand how and why certain smells may be incorporated in our dream sequences. Smell is an especially intriguing aspect of the dream experience due to its rich, emotionally provoking nature. These are Interesting Things with J.C.